I didn't know you were so good at Flappy Bird. Have you ever thought about getting into eSports? <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted Today. We're going to be checking out the D2 portable Bluetooth speaker by the guys over at DVoom. Now this was actually sent to us by the guys over at DVoom, so thank you very much to them for sending it over. And I've got to say, I'm quite excited by this speaker. And I'm not just saying that because they gave it to me for free, I actually really like the concept of this speaker. As you can see on the front of the packaging, which is also, by the way, a very nifty bag rather than just your typical box, which is already quite a nice touch. It doesn't look like your typical Bluetooth speaker. It looks like an old school PC with a pixel screen and that screen is actually fully customizable. The controls even look like an old keyboard. Everything about it just oozes style. Now let's see what's inside the bag. Oh look at that. That is adorable. It comes in its own little plastic case and it looks quite sturdy. It has a 10 watt DSP tune driver. It allows for pixel art creation. It has a smart alarm sleep aid, an online gallery, a DJ mixer, a programmable LED display, daily tools, internet radio stations, social media notifications, and a 3000 milliamp per hour battery. Quite a lot of features for a tiny Bluetooth speaker. Oh yes, look at this little guy. Man, I've never seen a Bluetooth speaker look like this. This is absolutely adorable. So as well as the Bluetooth speaker inside the box, we've got a USB-C cable with a nice fabric threaded wire, and then two sheets of emoji stickers, because why not? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything more satisfying? The D2 has about six different color schemes if I remember correctly, and I went for the black one and I kind of regret it. As nice as it looks, I've already gotten a load of fingerprints on it already. And I feel like if I had gone for something like the white version, it wouldn't have shown up half as much, but hey, it still looks great. I just got to learn to keep my grubby hands off it. You've got six keys on the speaker here and four of them have two functions. Starting with the M, if you press that, it'll bring up the menu. And if you hold it down, it will turn off the keyboard backlight. But we don't want to do that because the keyboard backlight looks awesome. Why do you want to turn it off? You can increase the volume by pressing the plus and minus keys just here. The left and right keys are for skipping track. And if you hold them down, it'll increase or decrease the brightness of the screen. Decrease, increase. Then you've got a little sun key just here, which will change the lighting functions and lighting effects. You've got this cute little gold lever just here. And if you pull that towards you, it will play or pause your music. You can use it to pick up calls or end calls. And then on the side of the speaker, you've got a little micro SD port there, your on and off button and your USB-C port. And that's pretty much everything on this little speaker. So let's go ahead and try playing some music out of this thing. According to the box, it offers 360 surround sound. So I'm going to be very interested to see what that's all about. That sounds pretty good. Let's try something a little bit heavier. The bass is pretty solid as well. And this is nowhere near max volume. It's still got about halfway to go until we hit max volume. The bass is good, the clarity is good, and it can go a lot louder apparently. Just realized while we we're doing all that, nothing was really going on, on the screen. If I click just here, it will flick through a few different presets that it already has on here. You can have the clock on it. You can have a basic color. And if you hold down the button, you can change the color. It's even got full fledged pixel animation on some of these. That's awesome. Some weird mushroom do. Okay. That's kind of scary. Let's just continue like that didn't happen. That is such a cool little display right there. I've never seen anything like that on a speaker before. So it's only got a few preset animations on here, but like I said before, it is actually fully customizable and you can make your own pixel art using the app. So this is the free Devoom app, which is available for both iOS and Android devices, as well as being able to make your own pixel art and animations. You can also use it to download community creations, which is great if you're like me and you're terrible at pixel art and you would much rather just go through and see some awesome creations and use them on your speaker rather than just make a generic smiley face because that's pretty much the limit of my abilities. So for example, if I click on this cute little guy right here, if I click on that, it should turn up on the speaker display straight away. And then if you want that animation or design on your speaker forever, just hit the download button and it'll be saved straight to your speaker. We've got what looks like the story of Adam and Eve, but it's, it's not exactly because it's just a snake coming along and biting her ankles. And that's it. In turn, 10 points if you can name the orange ghost. Clyde. Is it? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
save. Some of these animations are absolutely amazing, but some, not so much. Here's an animation of a minion putting on a face mask. Relevant. There you go. That's what we need. Save. Oh, what is that? Pizza? It's pizza being absolutely blasted. <laughs> so now we've seen the amazing work made by the community, let's go ahead and try making something ourselves. Word of warning, it's going to be terrible. It's a diglet. It's not a diglet. Couple of eyebrows. I feel uncomfortable. Aha, there's a feature here which will allow you to take a photo and then it will convert that photo into pixel art. And go. <laughs> Honestly, that worked better than I expected. <laughs> now that's not the only thing available on this app. It has a load of other features. So let's go ahead and try out a few. Let's try out the DJ mixer right here. Oh wow, okay, that's got quite a few things going on. So not only is this little guy a speaker, it's also an instrument. Not a very good one, but it's still an instrument. You can leave voice messages on this thing and you can even change the sound of your voice using a few voice modifiers which are preset into the app. All bow before Zod. All bow before Zod. <laughs> Honey, if I get home to see that you're sleeping with Steven again, I'm gonna be livid. Honey, if I get home to see that you're sleeping with Steven again, I'm gonna be livid. I like the fact that it has a setting for a man, a woman, and then a baby. What does the baby sound like? Goo goo gaga, I just pooped myself. Goo goo gaga, I just pooped myself. That? That's not the sound of a baby. <laughs> you can play Tetris, you've got slots, you've got dice, Astro Battle, Flappy Wings, Pixel Snake. That's actually quite a nice selection of games. Let's go ahead and try and play Snake. Oh, I hate when they put the blocks right at the bottom. It requires timing. Hey, there we go. And right and down and right and down and right and down. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, good start. Down, 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 down. I didn't know you were so good at Flappy Bird. Have you ever thought about getting into eSports? <laughs> I might have to fail on purpose. You might have to fail at this point because we've been going for about five minutes now and you don't seem to be having any trouble. <laughs> Ooh, a noise meter. Intern, how loud is my voice? 71 max. That's, that's, is that loud? Ah! Yeah, that was loud, it went red. For a compact portable Bluetooth speaker, the amount of features they've managed to put into this little thing is absolutely amazing. The bass is good, the clarity is good. It's nothing truly extraordinary, but for something which is under a hundred pounds and so small, it's pretty fantastic. The pixel display on this thing is such a nice touch. It just adds that extra bit of customization, which I have never seen on any other speaker. Overall, the D2 is an amazing little gadget. It does everything that it's designed to do well, as well as a load of other features, which I never expected to see in a Bluetooth speaker. It's adorable, I love it, and I'm looking forward to getting more use out of this thing in the future. And with that, I think that's gonna be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, Kai Preshaw, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. If you like this video, hit like, if you like all our videos, hit subscribe on more videos, and away. you can also follow us on our social pages. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon account. You can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. What he said.